Hello everyone, I'm Amit from Mail Smartly. Today in this video, I will walk you through step by step method how to print an email in Outlook. In this video, you will learn different options to print an email in Outlook Classic, Outlook on the web, as well as new Outlook. So currently I have opened my Outlook Classic and I have selected my inbox of my specific email address. You will check all my emails in my inbox. So I have simply selected the one I want to print. So I have two options. First, I can use the very common keyboard shortcut, which is control P, or I can also use this file tab and use the print option over here. So when I use this and go to the print option, it will take me to the print window here you will see the preview of your email which look like this and you can use simply this button to print your email this drop down will allow you to select your printer although i have this micro uh, soft print to pdf already selected i can use this printer which is already connected to my system the option is print options when i click on it it will again take me to the back end dialog box where I can choose some additional options here. I can use the copies, how many copies I need to print. I can choose the pages if I have multiple pages in my email. And the best option which I like the most is print options, print attachment file. Attach will print to the default printer only. If I select this check checkbox, that means if my email consists of an attachment, not only the email front page, the attachment is also printed with the printer. So I will show you, I simply hit print and now you will see opening mail attachment. You should only open attachment from the trustworthy source. So in this email, I have a word file which is attached. So I simply click on open. My file will open. So now the system asks me to select an app to open the doc file. I use select this document file. I use always. And this file is open in a word file. Now here I can directly print out the attachment. So that way you can use this option to print your email. Now I will show you one interesting thing also in this outlook. When I use control P, now you will see Two options here memo style and table style currently my memo style is selected because th that means only the one email what i have selected is about to print but if i select this table style you will see the list of all my emails which are in my inbox are selected to be print so that way if you want to print out all the list you can use this table style simply again click on this print option if you need all the things are available here you can also select the copies here you can either select all pages or you can specify the page numbers here page range all rows only selected rows these are additional options provided to you if you select tabular style and simply click on preview if you want to check out which is already here and simply hit print button so that way you can very easily take a printout from outlook classic now i will show you in the new outlook new outlook interface is entirely similar to the outlook on the web now here also if i select an email and on the home tab you will check an option which is print which is already available here so you can use this option or you can also use control p so I simply hit control P that email open in a separate window and give me the option to print from here. When I hit print button, it will again take me to the printing setup. The interface of this is slightly different from Outlook Classic. Now here I can select the printer. I can select the copies, the layout, the pages. I can manually change it or I can customize my pages. Here I can also change the color. If my email consists of colors and my printer is also a colored printer, that means I can select this option to take the printout in color. 
or I can use black and white. <clears throat> Click more settings. It will also give me a few options to select the paper size, the scale, pages per sheet, margins, which is very important. If you want to make it as a default, no problem. But if you want to customize your margin or make it none or minimum, you can do that very easily. If I click on customize, you will see the default margins is already entered here. You can change the margins according to your requirement. You can also ch check out these options, headers and footers, background graphics. These are few additional options provided to you in new outlook to take a printout as a professional manner. Simply hit print and your system will print out this email very easily. Now I will take you to the outlook on the web. If you have checked out new outlook and outlook on the web is almost similar. If you select an email there and go to the home tab, the print option is already here, which you can use it to print out. Or you can also use control P in outlook web also to take the printout. So see the window is almost similar. Click on print, the slight different of the interface. Here I can select the printer, pages, layout. When I click on more styles, it will ask me to select the paper size, sheet, margins once again, the same as similar to the new outlook. Here you can change it manually. Currently the margins are zero and if you want to change it, you can very easily check out. If you have print on both sides, if you have more than one pay printout, you can use this option also, background graphics and many more. And here is the keyboard shortcut also provided to you, control shift P. So that will directly take me to the printing setup. So that way you can very easily take out the printout from Outlook on the web as well. Now at the end, I will give you a bonus tip of Microsoft Outlook Classic. Once again, I am on my Classic. There is an option in Classic which is Quick Print. That means that will bypass all the options you need to select and the system will directly give you a printout. So I simply select this email, click mouse right button and you will see an option which is Quick Print. When I click on this quick print, my system directly print out this email according to the backend settings already you have made previously. So that will save your time and give you the printout instantly. So another thing I want to share with you, which I personally use is to add the printer icon to the quick access toolbar. It is very easy. You can simply go to the file tab go to the options click on quick access toolbar and here you will see my print is already added in my quick access toolbar so i first remove it and show you how you can add the printer logo to your quick access toolbar simply click on this all commands and you will see all my available commands are visible here simply go to the p series so I drag my mouse here and I will see this is my P and the print is here. Simply select it, click add and you will see my print is added in the quick access toolbar. Simply hit OK and my quick access toolbar consists of this printer logo as well. Now if you want to select an email, instead of going to the control P or click on the file tab and then click on this print. You can simply select your email and hit this button. So that will process your printing very quickly. You can also use control key as a keyboard shortcut to use this quick access toolbar icon as a to print the email. So I have covered all the three segments in this video. So you can take a printout of your email very easily. If you have learned something new from this video, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And please don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problems or what videos I come up. Thank you and have a